Ma comme comment vous faites mal là, non? How do you do this? Hey, hey! <laughs> Yo, I don't know what I'm doing! Is, did I even pick this up right? Allo, oui, bonsoir! I'm Nivana Moselle. And Sassi Deuxième, Chanel Louet. And today, we are going to be doing a makeup routine. And I'm going to be doing a lot of this in Crayol, okay? Because this is a video I've been planning to do since, like, December. But I just never got around to it. So, we're doing it today. So, on va nous commencer. If you guys do not know me, y'all would know I've never worn eyelashes before. So, y'all get to see me put on eyelashes for the first time. It'll probably look stupid. But, hey, why not? Let's try it. This video is sponsored by... Hortense Hibiscus. It is a eyelash company and y'all these eyelashes are bomb and they're also magnetic lashes so it comes with the eyeliner to make them magnetic and they also come with the little tweezers and all. They sent me four of these so that means I'm going to be giving two of these away. I'm going to keep two. Let's, let's get into the motherfucking tutorial routine. Listen this probably I don't know. I don't know how this is going to go. It, I don't know, okay? I'm not a professional. I barely wear makeup, so bear with me, okay? Shout out to Hey Nana, aka Duterna, because she gave me all of these translations for a lot of these makeup turns in Crayol back in December, okay? So, girl, messy, sure, messy, okay? So, on va me voir commencer avec foundation, which is called Fond de Temps, right? I may not be saying half these things right, but okay, listen. I'm starting my beauty guru career as an Asian woman. Leave me alone. This is Black Radiance, and the color is uh, Rum Spice 8413 Vite 4 Etoile. So we're about to put that on. I usually don't need that much foundation because I really have really good skin for the most part. Um, there'd be times I just put on eyeshadow and call it a day, uh, go about my business. Sometimes I just put on concealer. So we are about to blend that out, okay? Let's, oh, wrong side, wrong side, y'all. This, this is annoying. I'm, this is not, this is not something I'm used to. I'll tell you this much. So this is a beauty blender. Can someone comment down below, come on the blue beauty blender on Crayon Pasque Mbajon, mm-mm. de mon the beauty blender on Crayon Bonnet, boy. Anyhow, beauty blender. <laughs> Some people use a brush. Get mon qui utilise pinceau. Pinceau, pinceau. Yo, listen. P A N S O to, you know, blend out their foundation. But personally, I just like beauty blenders. I feel like it's a lot faster and I feel like it just looks better. I've never tried to use a brush though. utilise pinceau pour mettre fond de teint. Y'all, this is really bad. I just learned these words. So leave me alone. <laughs> I'm not gonna put too much because I'm probably gonna wash this off in a couple hours. So because I ain't going nowhere due to quarantine. I just realized that I forgot to put earrings on. I feel so incomplete when I don't have earrings on. I'm gonna go put earrings on. Uh uh, we're not we're not doing this today. Okay, okay, we will. Okay, we will. Nula. Okay, nula. We are going to go in with the concealer. Concealer is, I don't know, nobody I asked knew, so concealer, okay? We're gonna go in with the concealer. And this is LA Colors Conceal It in the color Deep CC568. I like to really go under my eye. Oh, that's a lot. I like to go under my eyes. This is brand new, so it's the first time I'm opening this one. And I've never used this specific one. I think I have another LA Colors one, but just not this one. I like to go here, left me met on tic Just a little bit, just a nice little line. Okay, just a nice little line up to here. And then, you know, I just a little fan it out. Just a little bit, okay? I'm not really a fan of concealer sometimes. To be honest, I don't really see the point. Like, what am I concealing? Like, personally, like I said, I have really good skin, so. I just be putting it on just to go through the motions of putting on makeup and making it feel like I did something, you feel me? Wow, this is some pretty nice concealer. It actually blends in very well. It blends in really well. Mm. It blends in pretty quickly too, I'm shocked. Like this one is not as thick as the other ones that I use. The one that I have that I usually use, I think is from Black Radiance. Again, I'm not sure though, but it's also lighter than this. So it makes me look real, real light skin. And I'm like, mm, we don't need that. I'm trying to look like me. 
All right. I think this is blended out, which I think. A little bit more? Gotcha. So, with that being said, while I do all of this, come on, new year. Like, how are y'all? Like, what are y'all doing? How is quarantine where you're from? I know there's a lot of people who watch me in, like, all types of different countries. So, it's like, I know that quarantine is different everywhere. So, it's like, what are y'all up to? Because, honestly, all I've been doing is filming, hanging out with my man, hanging out with my parents. Literally, that's it. Been hanging out with my sister lately. We'll take walks in the park. Like, that's all I've been doing. I haven't been really seeing anyone, and it's really getting to me. I don't know how it is in Haiti in terms of, like, are y'all wearing masks? If anyone can Haiti can comment, that would be nice. Like, are you guys, like, going through it as much as us? Because over here, we wear a mask everywhere. You can't get in anywhere without a damn mask now. It's, like, fucking annoying, to be honest. But nous pas qu'à aller pièce côté sans un masque, OK? Tout côté nous aller, faut nous mettre on va à Sophie dit nous qu'on gère côté qui pas qui te rentrer si on pas gère gon en main. So, mais je connais si c'est si des cons ça en Haïti ou bien l'autre côté nous jeter cause Why is I'm so nervous? I'm mask on because I'm tired of it. Like I really, I'm tired of wearing a mask. Like I'm telling you this right, I really can't stand it. Like I could barely breathe in the mask. I don't know if it's just me. I just don't. I really don't like wearing a mask. Like it's very annoying to me that you can't get into anywhere without a mask. So this is a Julia's palette okay and i'm gonna go for like a haitian type of look of course right so with my base nouvelle ale avec couleur cameroon okay cameroon is like a brown color so i'm gonna show you guys do, 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 do. brown color this this brown color right here oh i just realized if i go out there's gonna be hella makeup on my mask i was supposed to go to dollar tree thumbs up if you love dollar tree shout out to no dollar tree women and um, there's gonna be hella makeup on my mask. That's fucking annoying. I'm gonna go again with the camera room. Now, I love Julia's palette because it's very, very pigmented, okay? Si vous parlez en Julia palette, à l'acheter une because li bien bon, li bien belle, okay? Couleur yo bien vibrant, right? Is vibrant a word in Creole? I really thought I was saying something. Please let me know if I said that right. I really hope vibrant is a word in Creole because I don't fucking know. Ah! All right, so I'm just going in. That's my base, okay? And I like it, I like it, that's my base. We're gonna take another eye brush, which is like a little floofier, okay? Another, uh, what the fuck is the word again? How do you say brush again? Ooh, child, that's not good. This is not good. Boy, Jesse, boy, I'm about to drop the goddamn palette. Nyanu wala pon on lot pon so, this one's a little bit more fluffier, like you want floofsly? I don't know how to, y'all get the point. It's fluffier. And I think I'm gonna go with the red in the eye, like the corner of the eye. So there's a color called Bintu. I've never tried this color yet. Bintu. Okay, so here we go. This is the Afrique palette, by the way. That's why all of them are named after African countries. But anyways, we're going to Bintu. And we're gonna do the inner and the outer, if that makes sense. So we're about to do the other side. Perfect. Now we're gonna go with Fifi. Kunya Valentre out there Fifi, which is like the same color, but shiny. Okay, this is like a shinier version of Bintu, to be honest. This is a lot of travail, bro. I can't be a beauty influencer. I think I've given up on my career already. My cafe by his side up. Bob up. Bob up. And I hope this look comes out good. At least if the look comes out good, y'all will support my beauty career, right? Right? No? Okay. As y'all can see, it's a little bit more shinier. It's like a more pigmented but shinier color. Now, I want to bring it more up here because later on, I want to blend it down into the next color that I'm going to go into, which is Cote de or cold, right? I think I said that right. Cold de bois, cold de, whatever. That is the bluish color right here. So we're gonna go in with the blue color, which is beautiful, y'all. I've never really went in with any blue colors like that. I've done it once. And I was like, oh wow, it doesn't look bad. Like I've always thought that blue makes people look like zombie. Okay, I ain't trying to look like a zombie. <laughs> like, I, I don't know, I always thought it looked crazy. And it's like just a very bold color. And I just genuinely don't like the color blue in the general sense. Okay, so I think I'm going for a Haitian-inspired type of ordeal. 
And there's a lot of fallout with this blue color. None of the other colors had fallout, but I'm gonna fix that in two seconds. Yeah, there's a lot of fallout. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it's falling out to the bottom part of my eye, like kind of badly. I'm going to take a bigger brush and just, oh, yeah, the red went down too. I just didn't peep it. I actually like that, but the red seeped down under. I actually kind of like it, but I don't think I want that for this look because I'm kind of look like a, a flag fox. Yes, I said a flag fox. I look like a red and blue fox like that. So what we're going to do is we, I'm going to put it directly on here so it's not as like apparent. But I put two layers of zero on and I'm going to go under. Now we're going to go back with the flatter brush, okay? The flatter pencil. And we're going to go in with cool. Okay, this is Kofi, and it is a very beautiful gold color. As you guys can see, I have annihilated it because it's actually, excuse me, it's actually one of my favorites. And I'm gonna go over, like over here and bring it out. And, you know what I just realized? I didn't even do my eyebrows jizzy. Okay, this is not going well. This is the look I'm going for, but I gotta blend it in now. I would use this, but it has makeup on it, like blue, and you know, blue is already like a very bold color. I'm gonna use another brush. I have a lot of eye brushes, y'all, because of these types of situations, but. Gotta do the eyebrows, which I completely forgot. This is so backwards, y'all. So backwards, but I think we can, I think we can salvage it, yo. My eyebrows are so bad. They need to up and up the damn nail salons and shit today. Okay, I need to get my eyebrows done like tonight. Okay, my eyebrows look crazy as fuck, and I don't like to draw my eyebrows in. I'm probably in, uh, I don't like to use the pencil whatsoever. I think it looks tacky. I can't stand it. But sometimes I draw it in with like a, a liner gel type of situation. But I can't really find my eyeliner that I use. Oh wait, nope, found it. I try not to, but quarantine got us doing all types of shit because we ain't got no choice. Oh, child, I fucked up. I'm gonna have to go back in with this shit, but let us blend. That was a bad idea. Horrible idea. We're gonna stop though. Okay, so my makeup career is shot. <laughs> We're gonna do this the right way. So I wiped off some of my face. We're gonna go back in with another round of foundation. Okay, so fun did though. I'm gonna do it again for the simple fact that I wiped a lot of my eyes off. Now we're gonna go in with the concealer and do our eyebrows at the same time. In an effort to make the eyeshadow also known as the dual jit look good, we're going to also conceal our eyelids so it has like a lighter canvas. So do the eyelids and work our way up to the eyebrow. We're gonna go in with one of these, a spoolie. How do you say spoolie in Creole? Y'all need to transfer everything for me down in the comment section because I don't know half these shits, okay? And all the people I asked gave me the same translations. It was like, mm, I don't know what this is. Oh, I don't know what that is. I'm like, well, damn. That sucks, but whatever. This eyebrow's a little wonky looking to me, but it's better than what I had two seconds ago. So yeah, we are going to go in with the um, 
Juvia's palette, si vous parlez de Juvia's palette, then je suis pour l'acheter une. It is beautiful. Like, it is very beautiful. The colors are very, very pigmented. And most of all, it's very, very affordable. So this is the Afrique palette. So all of them are named by African countries, okay? I like to use bigger brushes on my eyes, but I don't want to blend it too much, so I don't want it to be too concentrated. So I'm just gonna. Okay, I got the effect that I wanted, but my under eyes look so messy right now. Like my under eyes are just, ugh. and the blue got really hidden, but that's fine, cause I just added the blue for a different dimension. To be honest, there's something real messy under the eye, like real messy. With a little bit more concealer, and this time we're gonna use one of these blenders. I love it, makes life so much easier, and it keeps your nails clean. I feel like every time I do makeup, my nails are getting mad dirty, so definitely cop one of those at least. Okay, whatever, I don't care anymore. We are going to do my lips, then we're gonna do the lashes. So this is my first time putting on lashes, maybe. Now, I wanna go for a nude lip color. This is from Koki Professional, and it is Kissable Liquid Lipstick in the color Nirvana. Now, this makes your lips look ashy, okay? So I'm going to top it with some lip gloss, don't worry. Or lip shimmer. I'm only gonna do one layer because this lip gloss is just like a little pasty, and if you keep layering it on, it's gonna look like you got crumbly bread on your motherfucking lips and you do not want to look like that. So we're going to go with, there's two different ones I can go with. I think I'm gonna go with these because they're a little less dramatic and I really love my eyelashes and I have this theory that if I put on fake eyelashes, okay? Like I keep thinking my, my real eyelashes are gonna fall off. Is that ignorant? Probably, but I don't know. I've never tried fake lashes before, so. Okay, my nails are very difficult to work with. This is the longest I've ever had any nails, like, so we're going to take these out of the packet. These come with all of the, um, the lashes, by the way. So I have like four pair of these, but I'm giving away two, so now I have two of these. I'm like, bro, okay. <laughs> so yeah, as you guys can see, and then there's a little plastic on them, a little bit wider. So, apparently, according to instructions, I'm supposed to line my eye with the liner. So, I'm really bad at lining her. I'm like, oh, this is bad. But I'd rather do this than put glue on my eyelashes, because that's what I've been afraid of. That's the straightest eyeliner I've ever done in my entire life. I think it's because I know that my life depends on it. With these lashes right now. I think the Lord is on my side, because I done fucked up earlier. I was fucked up earlier. I think the Lord is like, I since we cut you a break. Put a little bit under. I feel like 
that went a little too high. Okay. Before you use the liner, you were supposed to shake it up like 10 times. So you shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. You're supposed to apply a regular liner before, but I didn't do that, so. <laughs> so you shake it up and then you apply it. Now that's one layer, you have to do a second layer. I don't know. You would think that I was an expert, okay? This liner's looking pretty damn nice. I'm telling you, my liner never looks this good. I always skip this stuff. Okay. And you have to wait two to three minutes for it to fully dry. Now, to be very, very um, real with you, this is some really nice liner. Like, I don't even care for the eyelashes. Like, this is a beautiful ass liner. But anyhow, like, I don't think I'm gonna use this liner in general. But it is a little bit heavier than a traditional liner. But um, hey, what do I know? I'm just putting makeup on. So while we wait two to three minutes for this to fully dry, um, I am, yo, I thought I was about to put on, you know what? I was gonna put on some highlight but I'm not going to do that. We're just gonna go in with the shimmer for my mouth. I really hope that the shimmer looks good. This is from the lip bar, okay? Black owned business. Um, we're gonna put this over it. Or like dab it over because yeah, not much comes out, like not much product comes out of their tube, which I never liked. But it's really good lip gloss and it smells spectacular. And this is usually more so of a topper, and it's the color Goddess. As y'all can see, my lips look 10 times better than what it was looking like. Now, my liner is not yet dry. It's still a little shiny, so we're gonna wait. I want to go in and I hope I don't mess up the liner. I went in with the same gold color that I used at the top of my eye. I'm gonna make this. I don't know if y'all see the difference, but I do. It's still a little tacky to me but it's like drying. So with that being said, let's look at the eyelashes. So these are really pretty. Like I really like these. Is this magnetic? Oh shit. Y'all look. I'm such a child, but okay. These are really magnetic. I think this is upside down. Mugoshi, okay, so this is by right hand but i do everything with my right hand even though i'm left-handed so the eyelashes do clip onto this how do you do this hey hey <laughs> yo i don't know what i'm doing is did i even pick this up right i think i'm supposed to pick it up from the other side okay okay so it's off Okay, so I think, I, you know what? I'm gonna just use my common sense. I would assume you're supposed to pick it up from the hair side and not the magnetic side so that the magnetic side can actually stick. I'm just trying to use my common sense here. So I got it. I think I could do this. I think I have to get to myself, okay? So. Like, you have to actually, like, pull it off. Oh, 
y'all the liner came off okay i don't think i'm supposed to do that i don't think i was supposed to do that let's let's put it back on some of the liner does came off i can't see myself putting on lashes every day though this is a lot of it's a lot of maintenance it's a lot of maintenance y'all i'm gonna push my inner eye because i feel like i should cut this i should have cut it because it's like i think my eyes are too small All right, we're going back to that. I think I'm going to just put this one on. Now that I know what not to do, I think this one is going to turn out a lot easier and better. I think I'm going to have to re... I think I'm going to have to redo the other side, however. Yeah, I'll put that on perfectly. Yo, this is wild. I look so different! <laughs> in love with lashes now i know why they should be putting on lashes and just like lipstick because that's all you really need it pulls your face together oh my god it's just yeah. comment down below do you ever put on lashes like do you and um why or why not because i love it i feel like this lash looks better than this lash but hey this is my first time and i did pretty damn well compared to a lot of other people i see struggling to put on their lashes so are you supposed to put mascara on top of this shit or before let me see. I don't think I'm going to apply mascara because I feel like it's going to make it too heavy. I don't think I really need it, but it looks really, really good. Oh, so I think that's it. We're just going to set this with some motherfucking spray. And uh, I think we're good. I was going to put on bronzer and all of that, but yeah, I don't think we're going to do that today. Love it. <laughs> I look so cute. So let me know what you think about this look down in the comment section below because I'm really feeling myself, okay? I don't feel like it came out to be Haitian. The blue got lost when I blended it, but um, it's really cute, so who gives a shit, okay? Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and let me know if you want me to do more makeup videos. I promise you it will be a lot better than this, okay? Maybe I'll actually like do one of these and talk about a topic because this was, this was a mess and it's going to be very annoying to edit, so comment down below make sure you like share subscribe go follow my main channel do all that and i'm gonna see y'all next time